YouTube squad, how is everyone doing today? And welcome to day 15 of Vlogmas. Today we're gonna be making a latte. I was gonna make a pumpkin cheesecake latte. No, it's not Christmas-like, but I had nothing to vlog today. We went to do our flyers this morning, or I should say this afternoon. This morning was raining, so we went to go get papers. Then I went to Tim Hortons to grab a bagel because I did a 13 and a half hour fast, which was really good. I've been doing 13 to 14 hour fast. I'm trying to aim at 15. Sometimes I can't make it. <laughs> hey, we're gonna be doing a latte before our fast at seven. After that, I'm gonna go take a quick shower. Probably gonna call it a day because I still have yesterday's vlog to edit. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna get together. We're gonna put everything together today. <laughs> First of all, for our latte, we need milk. So we're gonna use, we might use some regular milk. I'm not sure. For a pumpkin cheesecake, I think regular milk would probably be better, right? So let's get the milk. We got our milk in the microwave and then we need a shot of espresso. But for today's latte, I might actually do a double shot of espresso. So we're gonna do the Lungo rather than just a single shot. Just frothed my milk. It is super hot. Now I'm gonna do my shot of espresso. Uh oh, the button I would choose, not this one, this one. Look at that. We're gonna make a nice latte. A pumpkin cheesecake latte. So I just got my double shot of espresso in my milk. And then we're gonna add some pumpkin cheesecake syrup. So I got my pump connected to my syrup. I'm not sure if I can do this. Perfect, we'll do it like this. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> this is a new pump, so, okay. So maybe we'll do one, no, actually we'll do two. Perfect. So we got two pumps of the pumpkin cheesecake syrup from Mateo's. I got this from Amazon. So if you guys want me to give you the link so you guys can get your own pumpkin cheesecake syrup for your lattes, I'll put the link at the top of the description. We're gonna use the milk frother and just kind of blend everything. Here I am. <laughs> so we're gonna use our milk frother, just kind of evenly blend everything. So everything's nice incorporated. Okay, so perfect. Let's try this. It's good, but I think I'd rather have the gingerbread, but it's not bad. I think we're gonna do something. We're gonna add something to this to make it a little bit better. I just cleaned my milk frother, and we're gonna make this latte a little bit better. I got some of this International Delight Zero Sugar, the French vanilla. So we're gonna add this to our latte. This will make it taste a little bit better. Just added my French vanilla creamer. Let's stir this up. Let's see if this will make a French vanilla pumpkin cheesecake latte. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Okay. Yes. That is much better. Wow. The French vanilla makes it creamy. The milk the espresso, the pumpkin, the cheesecake, syrup, everything works great. That is a winner. So let's go sit down, let's talk for a bit. The other day, we made a hot chocolate bomb, hot chocolate. That was really good. Tonight, we made a latte. So let's see if we can properly get both of these. <laughs> Just added some sugar-free, or zero sugar, French vanilla international delight creamer with our pumpkin cheesecake syrup that I got from Amazon. It's frothed the milk, the 2% milk, and this is delicious. Oh yeah, that French vanilla kinda tastes better. It kinda tastes like the whipped cream on some pumpkin cheesecake. This is delicious. The espresso, of course, gives it the caffeine because, you know, we all need a little bit of caffeine in our life. 
tomorrow or maybe the next day I'll make a different latte. Maybe we'll make a caramel. French vanilla caramel latte. That sounds pretty good. If you guys have any ideas for any syrups that I should get and make lattes, still trying to find a milk frother that will warm up and froth the milk at the same time instead of microwaving it. Also still looking for peppermint or candy cane syrup. So if you guys have any ideas where I can find candy cane syrups for coffees, for lattes in Chatham, drop your comments in the comment section below on where I can find it. Last time I heard Sobeys had a whole bunch of syrups, like different syrups, skinny girl syrups, and I heard candy cane, they have some. So I'm probably gonna have to make a trip to Sobeys, maybe sometime this week, maybe next week, and definitely go out and get some candy cane syrup so I can make a candy cane latte. Maybe a candy cane hot chocolate. White hot chocolate? That sounds good. This is phenomenal. It's delicious. You guys gotta try it. Add some pumpkin cheesecake syrup. I just did two pumps. This is sugar-free, this is delicious, and I just added some French Vanilla International Delight Creamer. I mean, I think International Delight Creamer works for anything. One thing that I would suggest International Delight Canada should do is come up with different flavors of creamers. The States, the United States, they have so many flavors of International Delight. I think they have one gigantic section and just nothing but creamers. In Canada, we're so limited, International Delight work on it work on getting some creamers in canada we need some amazing creamers like the states has that's my opinion i feel like that everyone agrees with me right if you guys love international delight creamers drop your comments in the comment section below on which one do you guys like the most i could actually i can't find candy cane syrup I just came up with a, an idea while I was talking. It's fine, because I think of these ideas while I'm talking, but uh, International Delight Peppermint Mocha Creamer. And this year, they added some cocoa powder, which makes it like a chocolate milk kind of color to the uh, creamer. So what I could do, I could make a peppermint mocha latte this year. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that's a good idea? Drop your comments in the comment section below, because I'm willing to try anything. International Delight Pumpkin Spice Creamer I still have one bottle and I did this for a reason. I bought an extra one because I knew that if I wanted pumpkin spice creamer like all year long, that is good. Definitely French vanilla. Now it's definitely tasting like a, a French vanilla cappuccino. That's what it tastes like. Not just a latte, but a cappuccino. This is spot on. Oh, I do apologize that I wasn't able to finish yesterday's vlogmas but i'm gonna end it right here and restart it today hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's vlogmas if you guys did show your support give this video a thumbs up and subscribe please ring all notifications so that way you never miss a vlogmas consider following me on instagram that's where i'll let you guys know what's coming up next i want to thank you guys very much for watching and definitely share this vlogmas with your friends and family and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow peace out we